Hey YouTube, this is LDS Reliance here with a product review video on this 50 watt solar panel by Lensun. This is a Chinese manufacturer. Uh, full disclosure, they did send this product to me for free in exchange for a review of this, but I don't let that affect my review at all, so I'm going to give you my honest opinion. This is a semi-flexible panel, which means that it can't be completely bent. It can be bent about 30 degrees or so maximum. Uh, in order to avoid damage to the contacts and the cells, but uh, this is actually a monocrystalline panel, so it's not a thin film or, or any other technology, but it, it does not have glass or a traditional aluminum frame, so it's much lighter, uh, more portable, and as you can see, it's fairly small compared to my hand. I'll give you uh, the exact dimensions and links to the, the specs in the video description, but um, so this is going to be something that you're going to want to use probably for camping and RV boondocking and things like that. Um, so without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox it and see what we're working with. Okay, so as you can see, it's a black color. This is actually a really nice looking panel. I'll bring out, I did a review video on a 100 watt version of this from the same company. A little while back which was not quite as cool looking as this um, I do note that there are no grommets around the outside so attaching this to something will be much more difficult than the other version but I do like the way that it looks it did come with a a manual um, which is actually in in much better English than than some um, it does give some useful information. It gives the specs here, which we'll test here in a little bit. Uh, this one is actually not 100 watts, so that's that's not accurate. So maybe they included the wrong manual. But uh, if you don't know, if this is your first solar panel, now this is what the other one that I tested looks like. So the, they probably just included the wrong manual, but it's a silver backing with grommets on the corner, and it does come with MC4 connectors. This one does not. As you can see, um, if this will focus here, there we go, uh, it does not have MC4 connectors, they're just bare leads. So keep that in mind, um, you'll have to attach your own connectors to that. So on the back here, it's kind of hard to hold here, but you can see the actual specs that uh, we'll be testing against. So those are the accurate ones, not the ones that came in my manual. Hopefully your manual will be different, but uh, in case you're wondering, that's what we're supposed to be getting. Okay, here you can see the two side by side. This is the 100 watt that I've reviewed in the past. Uh, that silvery material is kind of an aluminum backing, it seems like. Um, and it's got grommets in it, so it makes it real easy to hang on a carabiner or something like that. This one does not have that. It's it's, But I do like the, the backing is not as heavy, so it's not like an aluminum style backing. It's more like a plastic backing, and uh, but the unfortunate part is there's no natural hanging point. Also, you have to crimp on your own connectors, like I mentioned. And uh, anyway, so those are the differences, just in case anyone's curious. Okay, I've got some test equipment um, that I'm setting up here. I just wanted to, as I'm setting this up, show you that this battery is fairly well discharged. Um, so hopefully you can see this on the multimeter, but <clears throat> Let's see, how can we do this? <clears throat> so it reads 12 volts pretty much exactly. So this 12-volt uh, battery is, is discharged, so it should put a good load on the uh, charge controller or on the solar panel when we connect it. So I've got a charge controller here, an inverter connected to a load, and we're going to test with that. Okay, so we got some nice full sun, the clouds have gone away, and I've got this thing testing. I drained the battery completely, had to swap out charge controllers because the other one was junk. But um, I hooked up a bigger load to the inverter, drained the battery completely to where the charge controller cut off. Uh, power, the, the low voltage disconnect kicked in, which means that the battery was below discharged. And then I connected the solar panel and 
I don't know if we can zoom in far enough here in full sunlight for you to read the, the display, but it says two amps. And I cannot, no matter what I do, I cannot get it to go higher than that. Um, I had a little bit of trouble with this, with the 100 watt version of this, this panel, uh, where I couldn't get it to go above two, two amps as well. So I'm not sure if that is something I'm doing wrong or something the solar panel uh, is incapable of doing or just, I don't know. So I'll leave that up to you to decide. Uh, feel free to comment and tell me what I did wrong. I'll be happy to, to change up my uh, testing routine in the future. But anyway, uh, I do like the panel as far as uh, it is very lightweight, very portable. Um, it looks really nice, much nicer than the last version. It is on the expensive side. Uh, it, it is uh, about twice as much as a f traditional fixed frame uh, solar panel. Sorry, there's a bug in my mouth. Um, so take that for what it's worth. If you need the portability uh, and the, uh, the lightweight, um, then you're going to pay a premium for it. So anyway, I'll put the link to where to check it out in the video description. Thanks for watching, guys.